Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. Today, I'm going to install overdrive on two of my SCX24 vehicles, my Bronco and my Axial SCX24 and Horror Rock Buggy build. So I'm going to add that 23% overdrive as well as some softer, stickier tires to both vehicles and do before and after test runs to show the results of those vehicles and if that overdrive is really worth adding to your vehicles. It's a little bit of a time to install those, you know, nothing crazy, but, you know, is it worth the effort to put in on those vehicles? Stay tuned. Let's try 48.9. So we're sticking around about 48 to 49 degrees with no overdrive in the Bronco. And this is, I believe, with no limiting strap. Now we're going to try this steeper part of my uh, indoor crawler course, which the Bronco always had a hard time doing with no overdrive. It can easily do this uh, portion right there, which is about 48 degrees on that side. And about 57 on this side. So we know on this right portion, it can easily do this. No overdrive. It's definitely not gonna be able to climb this portion. don't think it's going to be able to climb a steep hill like that. I don't know if a top heavy vehicle like this can even do it on with the overdrive, but I'm just testing it regardless. And that front bumper is obviously, I like the way it looks, but it definitely gets in the way. So we're not able to do this with no overdrive. So 
Okay, I'm gonna be testing the rock buggy in the same locations. I know that the rock buggy can easily get that portion. Right over here, in the steeper section. Let's see if we can push the impossible and get this almost straight up area over here. And we're testing again over here, no overdrive again. Okay, and this thing was able to do that with no overdrive, but it did have a slight bit of a struggle. Should be a little bit easier with if you add about 23% overdrive. Today we're going to be adding some Enhor 13T, a 23% overdrive to my Enhor rock buggy here. So first off, we're going to remove the rims the front two wheels. Make sure you don't lose your wheel nuts here. And we'll probably have to remove the steering knuckles and the um, steering links, possibly. cover goes back into the diff cover plate here. Okay. 
go ahead and remove the old gears. You're going to have to pull out your dog bones a little bit here. Your old gear. Make sure you get these bearings. And of course, remove your steering knuckle. We're going to make sure we put these small rubber bands on each side of the shafts here. Press both of those all the way in. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and grease these up. Let's go ahead and put this in. Okay. to grease this gear up as well. Let's go ahead and place that in there. Twist these dog bones until they pop back in place.
Okay, test out everything, make sure it's smooth. Go ahead and put your diff cover back on. Okay, so on both of these vehicles, I've added 23% overdrive in the front only. And I've also added the new Enhor 58mm Super King Trekker tires. Those things are super soft, have a lot of grip. I, I really love those tires and I've been using those on a lot of my rigs. Uh, definitely you can tell a big performance on the stickiness and climbing ability of the vehicles once you put those on. So let's jump right into the overdrive test here. Okay, we're just going to run these original first tests here. We already know that the Bronco with no overdrive can easily get up that. No problem there as well. Wow, it could never make it up that portion before. We know it'll never make it up this steep section here, but just for giggles. That actually took it a lot longer to fall than it did with, without overdrive and the new tires. This thing is almost straight up and the Bronco is very top heavy. Even with no overdrive, I'm not expecting it. Even with overdrive, I'm not expecting it to make it. But just driving this, I can definitely tell a big difference with the new tires and that 23% overdrive in front. The Bronco would have already flipped over by now on just this portion majority of times. Not going to be able to do it as expected. We couldn't really get over 49 degrees without the overdrive and the new tires. Let's see if we can get 51 here on the Bronco. Okay. 51 again, let's try it.
struggling, but pretty much a two degree improvement on the incline. Going for 52, 52.4. Let's go for 52 degrees. Front right tire is barely touching up, trying, but about 51 degrees is about where we're at here. A two degree increase. Okay, rock buggy, 23% overdrive and Bora King Trekker tires. Okay, did that with ease. Third run here. Okay. It never had a problem making it up this portion, but do it anyway. Very easy. Okay, last section here. Easily gets over. 23% overdrive. Second run clean.
All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Definitely, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. My thoughts after doing these tests is basically, yes, the overdrive did help, 23%. I think that 14% overdrive is not enough. 33% might be too much. Um, basically, the 23% is perfect. Uh, I can tell the difference while driving. It's kind of hard to see even on the video with some of the improvements, but you can definitely tell that the vehicles climb a little bit better with that overdrive on the, on the front two wheels only. And basically, the stickier tires definitely are a big help as well. The only downfall, which is not much of a downfall that I see with overdrivers, if you have overdrive in the front, front axles and normal in the, in the rear, basically when you're backing up and going reverse, sometimes your vehicle kicks up a little bit more um, you know, and if you're on a steep hill trying to back up slower, it might, you know, make you lose a little bit of control, but it's not that noticeable. And it's something you can definitely adjust with your sensitivity of your finger when you're driving in reverse compared to normal. That's really the only flaw and downfall that I saw. Um, definitely, I recommend putting in the 23% overdrive, and I'll definitely recommend these in horror 58 millimeter super king trekker tires those things are super soft super sticky and with those two combinations the overdrive and the new tires definitely well worth it i'll link both of those in the in the description so stay tuned for future videos like and subscribe